Guys, I never do this, I've never done this before, but today through Monday, I'm giving you guys five times entries. So for every $5 you spend at 53supply.com, you get five entries instead of one. I usually don't do this, but I feel like it for one, it's Black Friday, and two, we're actually switching warehousing, so we need to get rid of all of our merch. So we have a Black Friday sale and extra entries. You guys have less than a week to win this baby. If you guys need a reminder, we did a bigger turbo, fuel upgrade, everything full bolt-ons. We've got this sick new steering wheel. Head to 53supply.com and indulge in one, savings in two, extra entries. You got less than a week left. You guys go to 53supply.com and enjoy the video. We are moving everything around today. The mods for the BRZ start now. This is my favorite part. Fully slammed. And fitment. Whew, boy, this car about to make me act up. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I like that. So far, we've got a lot of mixed opinions on this car. I think personally it looks fantastic. That's the reason I bought it. I love the rear end. Kind of not stoked on the front end. Really need some body kit stuff. I know HKS has got some stuff. But uh, anyways, today we are going to be prototyping and testing out, making sure oh, suspension fits. Although this is a BRZ, it is also a new platform. It's got a new engine, got a new body. I would be very surprised if Toyota and Subaru actually changed stuff about the chassis, if not just little things. I'm pretty sure the coilovers from the last generation will fit this, so we're gonna find that out today. It's a shame. Okay, first mod is going to be... literally a plate and like riv nuts, rivet nuts in there. Like, yeah, so that's factory. They actually want you to have a front plate on there. That's kind of lame. Well guys, this is um, going to be probably the cleanest suspension job I've ever done. This car has like 400 miles on it, maybe 500 at this point. It's also potentially the dirtiest 2022 BRZ in existence right now because I've driven it a lot on a track day, took it to the range and it was dusty. This car is, <laughs> Oh, I gotta take some Griot's products to it. Okay, so crossing my fingers. Today we're gonna be doing a couple things. Um, first off, thanks to MA Performance, they sent us out a set of BC Racing BRs. These are coilovers from the last generation of BRZs. You guys know what coilovers look like. I'm not gonna get too much into that, but uh, big shouts to MA Performance. If you guys want any car parts, I know they're having some crazy Black Friday sales and stuff like that right now. I do have a discount code for you guys to use. It's in the description, but uh, big thanks to MA Performance. We're also going to be test fitting wheels. Again, it's probably gonna be pretty similar to the previous generation, if not exactly the same. I don't really think they changed the width or anything. There's, I don't think suspension geometry has really been changed, but we've got a set of Heritage Emolas that we're gonna be test fitting. It's eh. Yeah, well, anyways, it's the same wheels we did in the R33. Now, I am actually getting three-piece wheels built for this. We're gonna be doing my signature wheel and uh, all that kind of jazz. I guess let's go ahead and get started on the suspension job. These godforsaken wheel locks, bro. They don't work, guys. Like, if somebody wants your wheels, they're gonna just take them. And I guess you could argue it takes them longer, but like, I don't know, they'll probably shoot you if you try and stop them. Huh? <laughs> I have never worked on a brand new car. Actually, I've never worked on a brand new car, period, but a brand new car suspension is so crazy to me. I mean, like, it's dusty from, from you know, from driving it, but, like, it's crazy. It almost feels weird, like, removing brand new parts, but gotta do what you gotta do. This looks to me like almost exactly like the Blob Eye in Bug Eye WRX coilovers. I think it's just gonna be the same as every BRZ, so. Do you wanna just give a big shout, big thank you to uh, BC Racing too, dude. Like, they're, like look at that. So I like the top, the top adjustment is, is fantastic, but we've also got all the original holes for all of the ABS lines and all of these like sensors and freaking wires and everything. It's literally just gonna go in like stock. Look how tiny these are too. 
Oh my God, guys. And in the middle of doing this, I'm almost done with the front. I just took delivery of something I have been waiting so long for and I can't wait to show you the video. You guys can look up Carbon Air on Instagram, but that is <laughs> so exciting. All the way from Poland. We're about to go full send, boys. I'll show you guys. You, you guys will see that soon, I promise. So it is the same thing as any other BRZ. So I don't really need to go through all this for you guys. It's honestly super simple. I'm gonna finish this up and then we will test fit the wheels, see if they're gonna be good. 12 seconds later. All right, all four corners are on. Can confirm it's the same thing as the previous gens. The backs were super easy. I, actually, according to Drew, apparently they actually made it a little easier on the rears for this car, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and test fit some wheels. These are the same ones I ran on my R32. They're pretty sick, but the main thing is the fitment. Uh, 265 probably, maybe 255 all the way around. Dude, yeah, let's go, dude, look at this. So Drew also pointed out these cars have immaculate and super nice fender stock. You don't even have to like roll them at all. You could probably pull, I mean, it'd be super easy to pull these, like it'd take two seconds, but keeping it bone stock, like these things have, can't really see, it's already like, it's already, it's already really like rolled. Well, we're gonna do the same thing I always do. You guys know I like to make a full video rather than just like the daily vlog style. It's like, hey, here's the suspension. Oh, here's another video about the wheels. We're gonna do it all in one. By the way, these wheels are made in China. Just, they're really light. They're kind of they're cool, but what does it say? Made in China. China number one. <laughs> Don't hate me because I said that. Let's get it. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like. God, dude. This literally changed the entire car. The fitment is freaking money. So, dude, these are, I can't remember how much I've told you guys today, but these are uh, 18 by nine and a half plus, oh God, this car's so dirty, plus 38 with a 255 35. No like, extra negative camber or anything. This is just the, 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 the natural camber you get from the chassis lowering the car, so, dude, that looks awesome. Look at this fitment. Look at this fitment, dude. Uh, look at this fitment. I can't even, look at that, boy. We might have to do a tiny, tiny, tiny pull, but it looks amazing, guys. This is killer. <laughs> It's insanely windy today, so I had to come back inside. It looks fantastic. It needs a little bit of fender work. The only thing I really gotta do is come back here. I need to um, really, really, really lightly roll these fronts because they uh, have a couple tabs that hit at full lock. And then back here, it's just, they've got this like flat, just the fender's just like flat. And it's actually just like touching the tire. You guys know I had to do the 53 logo on the Amolas. We have these stickers from when we did the R32. Did it right this time. They're all on the exact same spoke. <laughs> this is sick. I, it feels really cool to be one of the first of this gen. Usually wheels and a drop, wheels, tires, and a drop can just absolutely change uh, the look of a car entirely. And it definitely 
does. Just need an alignment. And uh, when it gets back up into the air to do the exhaust and that kind of stuff, I will proceed with a little bit of light fender work, but nothing crazy. I mean, it's just gonna, it's just something to where I can fit everything. A big thanks to uh, MA Performance. MA Performance sent out these coilovers for us to prototype. Also, BC Racing. I've been working with BC Racing for forever. I do wanna let you guys know they also have a big Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal. I'm just reading it off my phone right now just to make sure I don't miss anything. The nice thing about MA Performance is that product availability. They have a huge warehouse literally stocked with so many things. They just were able to pull this off the shelf. They're sending me a bunch of like random stuff. Like they have um, even fabrication parts. They also have a price match guarantee, free shipping on orders over $199 and 2% buyback and loyalty points. I've loved working with MA Performance. You guys know I've worked with them before, obviously. So uh, make sure you hit up their Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals. Just go, to, just go to the link I got for you in the description. Also Heritage wheel, we're getting some three piece wheels made, but super sick to be able to do this and uh, like be the fir one of the first people to, to have stancy fitment <laughs> on this chassis. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, I do give you guys daily advice. And today, honestly, just in the spirit of Thanksgiving and now the holiday season, which by the way, now it's acceptable to listen to Christmas music. Not November 1st, you freaks. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I want, I want to challenge you. This is my advice for you guys today. I want to challenge you guys to write down five things that you are grateful for. If it's not a material possession, that's even better, honestly. Um, like life, you have limbs, like at least you have oxygen to breathe today. There's people, you know, in the hospital right now that are illnesses and don't have oxygen. You know, it's like you have a nose, you have, you have eyes that work, you have ears that work. Some of you may, some of you may not, but seriously, there's a million things to be thankful for. Write down five. If you can think of more, do it. And then I want you guys to look at that list at least, I mean, every morning you wake up, I want you to read through that list and be like, yep, I have this today. I have this today. I promise you, if you can just rejoice in the small things, you will have a much better life. And you will also be able to cherish the cool possessions and the cool things in life if you can learn to just love all the little things. You guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you guys next week for the next video. By the way, just a reminder again, you got less than a week for that to win that boy and you guys get five times entries until Monday. You guys have an amazing day. Peace. Hey! I got two videos for you guys to watch. It helps me out a ton if you continue to watch those. I know you guys hear me say that all the time, but do you actually like, do you click on those two videos? Do you click on one of those? Click on one of them, boy. You're missing out. <laughs> Hit subscribe and uh, I will see you guys next video. Have a good day, bye.